Well, it's finally getting to be fallish outside. I think that's a word. I'm not sure. But whatever it's getting to be, it's starting to get a little cooler at nighttime. And people are thinking about their fireplaces. This uh, scene that I've got going in the background is uh, a winter scene with a nice fireplace going. Hey, um, let's take a few minutes here. Let's go over your inspection report. Let's answer some questions ahead of time. And then uh, do feel free to give me a call anytime. Our contact numbers will be at the end of the video. Uh, and so let's dive right in. Stay with me now. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation. Or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Sharon, it was great to see you uh, out at the house today. Uh, a lot of stuff going on out there with the diggers and, uh, and all of that, the plumbers. Um, let's take a look at the inside. So we've got an open wood-burning fireplace. Now, these people had gas logs in here at one time. This is not a log lighter. It's gas logs. And this is what is left of what is called a ball valve or service valve. Handles melted. No doubt it's melted inside. I don't know if that gas is under pressure or not. It needs to be determined before a fire could be, uh, a wood fire could be set in here. And of course, that plumbing cannot be used for future gas logs. It needs to be completely removed. A uh, hole needs to be sealed up there. And if you decide to do gas logs in the future, a, um, a permit needs to be pulled and a licensed plumber needs to run it properly. Um, missing a little mortar right here and along here in the profile. That needs to be filled with refractory cement for safety, and I've given you a price on doing that. You know, uh, we look outside, and we can see that's where that gas line comes in. It just looks so sloppy. I am convinced that I don't know who... Uh, maybe a lazy plumber. I'm not sure if a permit was pulled because I don't think it would have passed. But I'm not a plumber. I'm a chimney sweep. But I see these every day. Uh, shoulders. Both the shoulders are missing mortar. Uh, moisture, no doubt, getting down into these areas, and that should be repaired. We look up on top. We can see it does have a stainless steel cap covering both the fireplace and the furnace flue. But we can also see the cracks up here uh, where the water is still probably getting in a little bit. So my recommendation for this and the shoulders and any places where there's some cracks in the masonry, fill those uh, cracks up with uh, good silicone caulk. Let's keep the moisture out. So silicone caulk would be a good choice up here. You don't get a particularly uh, high amount of heat or anything. So uh, the silicone caulk will definitely hold up for you. Folks have uh, questions for me. Give me a call. 704 Five two six sixty three forty eight. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep dot com. Thanks.